Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better Show with your hosts, Lee Silver and Ellen Goodwin. Welcome to another episode of the Faster, Easier, Better Show. I'm your co-host, Ellen Goodwin, along with my co-host, Kevin. Because <laughs> I'm home alone. I'm actually not home alone. <laughs> I can hear voices in the background, but that's actually the funny thing. I mean, this is about working from home, and some of you are alone, which would be lovely, but I have to share my home office and home space with two homeschoolers and one newly minted home office worker plus myself. So um, all this is very relevant to me, and I hope we can help you with your uh, working from home dilemmas. Awesome. I know way back in March, we did a whole bunch of episodes about how to work from home because it's the first time you've ever done it. Well, a lot of our listeners have been working from home now for seven, eight months, and they've sort of settled in, but not completely. I know people put things off. I, You and I put off getting new microphones because we're like, I don't know, we'll be back in the studio really soon. And five, six months later, we finally both went, mm, we need to get microphones. And I think it's the same with a lot of people that have been working from home. They're going, you know what? I'm going to be here for a long time. It's time to get a good office chair. It's time to get a good desk. I think that is so important where maybe you were just making do because you thought you like you said, it's temporary. But once you realize this may be permanent, and for some people, that's great news. Other people, eh, maybe not so great news, but we're going to have to deal with it. And that means you, you know, start looking in your, your house. Uh, well, first start paying attention to where you are most comfortable, most focused, where it just it's it feels right to work. And then look for the, the, the equipment that will make that work. Maybe it's a, a corner table so you can take advantage of like a, a, a table cut into fit into a corner or it's there's a folding down tables. There's these very small tables that will fit in small spaces and then finding a comfortable chair, the right lighting, yada, yada, yada. Next thing you know, you've got a place where you get up in the morning, you're excited to go to work there. And maybe it is one of those places where you are uh, not distracted by whatever else is going in your home. Maybe you like the energy of what's going on and being around the kids and whatever. But it's basically your decision, your choice, your preferences, what works best for you. Exactly. And it's also experimenting a little bit. You know, you probably have, but take another look. Are there places that you could work that would be helpful? I do a lot of writing and I have realized that sitting in my office writing, especially right next to my computer, is not good for my focus. So I pack up my writing and I go to a, a nearby park and I sit there at a picnic table and I do my writing. I'm out in somewhat nature and I get a lot more done. Now, I'm not going to sit there all day because <laughs> the picnic table is certainly not ergonomic. But it's a place that I really wouldn't have thought about before. And one of the reasons I'm going there is because, just like you, I've got a spouse working at home, and that's new to me. And why not go somewhere else that, that gives us both a little breathing room? So experiment with what's around. You, you probably kind of settled in and thought, you know, there's nothing new. I'm just stuck with this. But guess what? There are some different things you can do. I've looked around and thought about, because everything's, po well, not everything, but a lot of things are possible that you wouldn't have thought of before. Places you could go to work. Maybe you like to work standing up, but in, where you used to work in your office, it wasn't possible, but now it is possible. And that's what's so exciting is there's so many different things you can do to make yourself more efficient, more effective, and more comfortable. Because maybe, you know, you had those fluorescent lights. Now you can have natural light. Maybe, you you know, you could only listen to somebody else's type of music in the office or the piped in music. Now you can choose the type of music you want to use. And in technology, if they give you a budget, you can buy, maybe you were a Dell user now, but you always want to use a Mac and maybe now you can. I'm just saying, find it. There's so many things out there that you probably never thought of that could make your work life so much better. And that's what working from home is about. It's about trying to be better and what we do because we have more options of how we can do it. Exactly. 
Absolutely. I've gone ahead and, you know, we have a lovely front porch, but I never really work out there because we've got these big comfy chairs. Well, I got what kind of looks like a TV tray. It's a bamboo TV tray thing that I can slide up next to my chair and I can sit out there and get some work done. It's a change of venue and it's a it's a new place that I can work. But you know what? It's an experiment. So finding those things that give you a new view. I'm outside. Again, maybe that's a theme with me. I need to be outside. But trying new things, new things that make you comfortable and make you work better. Now, I am not telling anything, but I do want to say that when my <laughs> life changed, and I'm, I'm, I must say for the better, where you know a lot of you maybe had to give up your regular job, I had to give up my career, meaning there's not going to be any uh, conferences that need speakers for a long time. And so I mourned the loss of that. But then I thought, what can I do? How can I make a difference in the world? How can I help people? And I decided to try and bring all of us remote workers together. So I started remoteworkerresource.com and it's all free. I'm not charging anything. I want people to go there and find out that there's others that you can interact with and, you know, maybe talk about better ways to do things. There's pictures, tons of pictures of how other people created office spaces. What I'm saying is we couldn't put everything into this episode that I would have liked to, but there's a place you can go to look for it. And it's remoteworkerresource.com. Hopefully it's up by the time this drops, but um, it should be. I'm almost done. And um, for me, it's a labor of love. I'm looking for ways to make people uh, who work from home uh, love it and make it a way of life. That's my goal. I think it's fantastic. I'm super excited for it to go live. And I think it's going to help a lot of people. And I will make sure that the link is in the show notes so people can easily get to the website and learn more. So that's the episode for today. Be sure and subscribe, like and review and be back again next week for another episode of the Faster, Easier, Better Show.